you're looking around at all this beautiful scenery and it's sunny. And yet it's minus 40. I was coming to a checkpoint and it was up a hill. And it was a kind of spiral hill that we were going around. And we're going uphill getting faster. You're just looking down, you just can't believe that you're getting faster. And it was just like a roller coaster ride. And so the motivation of that is just, it's right there. It's like you can do anything. I was born in Southern California, but at nine months, my mom moved back to England where she was originally from. So I kind of grew up in the, the Wirral area of Britain, which is close to Liverpool. I joined the British Army when I was 16. When they asked me where I wanted to be assigned, it was which base is closest to the mountains. I hadn't thought about it, but happened to fit it together. So I joined the National Guard as well as going to school full time. That then led to the meeting Scott Jansen at the Iditarod in 2012, again in 2014. It became a plan for me to start training with him in 15 and 16, then sabbatical came up in 16. I applied for it, was picked up. It's what's allowed me to have this 12 month relaxation period, which has become hard work, but enjoyable hard work in that way. The most memorable moment was obviously the first year for me when I decided to do it. And I was only doing one race. Coming out of a checkpoint, they weren't going for me. And so I had to make the determination of what I was gonna do. That eventually involved waiting out with them, doing an unexpected camp out for five hours. And I still didn't know if they would start again or if I would stop there. Luckily, I had someone that came by on a snow machine that told me from the way they looked and his experience, I was doing the right thing. When the sun sets, it'll get frosty. They'll get a little bored, a little chilled because they haven't got straw or anything right now. And as soon as a few of them start getting up, then rebooty them, reconfigure them, and you'll be able to get going again. And after five hours, that's exactly what happened. The sun started setting, got them all up, switched dogs around, suddenly got the two leaders up there. As soon as we started rolling, we were back to nine miles an hour. I'll be disappointed if I'm back of the pack in the Iditarod. If you're at the back of the pack and every time, you know, people are already wrapping up before you've left, that, to me, the stress on that would be horrendous. So the way I'm looking at the Iditarod is more a time plan and then sticking with that time plan. I think with the training level that I've done and to be around them, what is your peer group and moving on and getting help when you need it or going out on your own when you can. That's how I'm looking at getting enjoyment out of Iditarod.